Hi, I'm Luana Rubin from eQuilter, and I'm at the 2013 Houston Quilt Festival. I'd like to take you on a two-part tour of the art quilts here. It's a lot of fun, and there's a lot of new techniques and new designers and new artists here this year. Come on along. Let's have a look. If you followed my videos, you've seen that I've interviewed Helen Godden in Australia before. She's an amazing quilt artist, but also painter, and I think this is one of the most striking pieces she's ever done. Take a close look at the shading of Helen's painting with Lumiere paints and the free motion uh, stitching that adds so much depth and texture. If you've followed my videos, perhaps you've seen my review of the Tent Makers of Cairo exhibit a few years ago at the Birmingham show. You can go back in our video files and check that out. This was made in France inspired by that exhibit and you can see a very interesting combination of French and Egyptian motifs. This was made with hand dyed silks. Isn't it luscious? Here's an abstract depiction of the light and shadows in a sandstone canyon with beautiful complementary colors. There's a great cow quilt exhibit here in Houston. It's called Mouston and this quilt is called Dia de los Muertos. Get it? Tanya has created an eye-popping self-portrait with her favorite motorcycle. I'd like to see a self-portrait of someone with their sewing machine. Paula Chatelaine is known for her award-winning hand-painted quilts, but she's been working in a new series of raw edge applique denim and hand painting. This piece celebrates one of her favorite themes, the luxury of drinking water, clean drinking water. It's a beautiful portrait with a very unique angle. This gorgeous portrait starts with a digital image and then is embellished. Absolutely fabulous. This masterful portrait of Jack Nicholson is an exploration of tone, of light and dark. She seems to capture every expression, every possibility, doesn't she? Hexagons are old and new. Modern quilters have been rethinking hexagons. You may have seen in my previous videos and photo shows from Japan that there have been many hexagon quilts in Japan, again, old and new. And here we have a fabulous quilt with a blown up three-dimensional image of hexagons by a Romanian quilter. This large quilt by Xin Chen Lin is in the Taiwanese exhibit for ecological quilts. This is about the tragic plight of the migrating butterflies and it's one of the most striking quilts in this exhibit. If you love floral applique quilts you're gonna love this one. It's a very beautiful in one way traditional symmetrical quilt. It reminds me a lot of William Morris designs but you'll see the evil subversive little dandelions in the center. Quite whimsical. <laughs> This amazingly detailed piece by Ann Horton is a smorgasbord of different mediums and embellishment techniques. Take a close look and you'll see it's not only machine pieced and appliqued and quilted, it has digitized embroidery, beading and hotfix crystals, blanket stitch applique, thread painting, and stuffed work. It has silks and cottons, beadwork, and silver lame. I love the close up of the sugar skulls and the flowers. So that's the end of part one of our tour of the art quilts at Houston Quilt Festival 2013. Come on along for part two. We'll be looking at Japanese quilts.